imperial and molecular formula. Molecular formula. What is molecular formula? Molecular formula is talking about the actual number of each element in a molecule. As in water, what is the actual number of element in a molecule? You have 2H, 1O, so you call H2 and O, water. Then what is a imperial formula? Imperial formula simply is the whole number ratio. They sim is the simplest whole number ratio of the element in compound. I give you an example. The molecular formula of hydrogen peroxide H2O2. Then if I put it in imperial formula, I just need only the simplest whole number ratio. So I only got a HO because H2O2 I divide by 2, it gives net of HO. From the first look, you see you were wondering, you can see molecular formula you can see is useful. But what's this imperial formula use? Is it useful? Yes, it is, particularly in many type of compound. And I'm going to show you. So far we learned metallic compound, ionic compound, covalent network, and covalent molecule. And now let's look one by one. Metallic compound or alloy. They all writing in this imperial formula way. You cannot write in molecular formula. You can't say how many trillion atom of four, um, of iron. You can't. So you have to write in the imperial formula simply by the whole number, simplest ratio. Ionic compound too, you cannot write it into the molecular form. You can't say how many trillion are of positive ion and how many negative ion. You only can represent in the simplest whole number ratio. Again, you're in an imperial formula way. Covalent network. Silicon dioxide, like rock. You cannot describe it into a molecular form. So again, you only can write into the imperial formula. Now, molecule. Covalent molecule, yes, you can write it into a molecular formula. So, don't underestimate this imperial formula. You can see many, in many compounds, you, you have to write it into an imperial formula form. And you can't write it in a molecular formula form. And now, now let's look further at this rule. As we know, Molecular formula is the actual number. Imperial formula is the simplest whole number ratio. Now let's look. For example, H2O. You can't make it any simpler than H2O. So molecular formula, imperial formula the same. We look down. H2O2. Yes, if you divide by 2, it becomes HO. So you can write into imperial formula. Methane, this is the simplest you can. Ethene, yes, you can divide it both by two, become CH2. How about ethane? Yes, you can divide it by two, become CH. 
expensive divide by six as glucose divide by six and you can't divide this one because this you get won't get any simplest whole number ratio ammonia this is the simplest as to many compound ionic compound and covalent compound you just can't write into any molecular formula form you only represent in imperial formula so that's talking about this simplest whole number ratio rule now let's talk about an example how do we calculate to work out imperial formula let's read the question a chemical analyze of glucose composition 40 percent carbon 6.6 percent .6 hydrogen 53.3 percent oxygen calculate the imperial formula of glucose now let's start they say of this c h o c is 40 percent h six percent o 53.3 percent means by mass if this is 100 gram c going to be 40 gram h is 6.6 .6 gram o is 53.3 gram that's what you mean now what's next you have to using the formula you have to using this solid formula to work out the molar mass what's the molar mass periodic table now you look up the molar mass on periodic table will give you 12 this is from periodic table how about 40 so you get 40 this is 40 so you know 40 divided by 12 give you 3.33 now how to work out the h again get the number from periodic table and then this is 6.6 .6 divide 1.008 give you 6.55 and again from periodic table the molar mass and you got 3.33 and once you work this out what's next you write it into the simplest whole number ratio how to do it now out of these three set of number you choosing the smallest one so now what is the smallest one the smallest one out from this number is 3.33 so here you get the 3.33 6.55 3.33 so you choosing the smallest one 3.33 and you divide everything by this 3.33 so if 3.33 divide 3.33 give you 1 if 6.55 divide 3.33 give you 1.97 and 3.33 divide 3.33 give you 1 and now you get the ratio so this number ratio the c going to be 1 the h going to be 2 O going to be 1 and that's the way you work out the imperial formula thank you